guys, what is good? Gert413 here back in today, guys. And today, guys, as you see right now, I'm just sort of drifting around here in a Cadillac Bel Air. Or, not a Cadillac, a Chevro Chevrolet uh, Bel Air. Um, Cadillac, pretty much the same thing, you know. They're, they're both GM products. They're both them good old American GM products. Let me tell you what. But anyway, though, what I wanted to do today, though, is I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about when you want to switch from an experience boost car to a skills boost car. Er, not a skills boost, what the hell am I saying, to a credit boost car uh, in order to get the most amount of money per lap on Goliath in particular. So what I did is I looked at some of the numbers from back in the back before. Uh, I did like this whole thing, you know, I looked at um, the average wheel spin, I did a whole video on that. Um, I did do a little bit of editing and I took out some of the, like the bigger rewards as currently it's not available. So wanted to make sure that, you know, the data wasn't being skewed. And taking out that number made a difference of like 20,000, which is freaking ridiculous. And then also, because, you know, the cars that you win in the wheel spins, uh, they don't sell for their whole price. So I cut those prices in half. So it'd be what you would actually end up probably selling it for. Uh, so, yeah. And we crash. That, that's fun. That, that's real fun. But anyway, though, what I wanted to talk to you guys is I actually wrote out an equation that would actually help us figure this out. And it goes like this. So Y would equal the total amount of credits that you actually earn per lap of Goliath. And then X equals the experience that you earn. Uh, so what I figured is we have to make it so that you add up the total amount of credits, which I, I did a bunch of these ones, but I'll, I'll give it to you guys in the simplest one. The total amount of credits earned for both, um, uh, for both VIP and non-VIP, which is the same that you earn per lap, but I'll, I'll explain why I did both VIP and non-VIP later, plus the amount of uh, experience earned over X, and then I multiplied this by the average amount of wheel spins, because those laps, the, the amount of experience earned over X, which is uh, going to be your total experience to level up, that's what X equals, is going to equal the number of wheel spins, and thus you'll actually get an average uh, amount right there of wheel spins. And then by multiplying that number by the average wheel spin, we're actually able to come up with how much money we make per lap based on wheel spins. So I went ahead and I did that. That's in the simplest form. There's a much more expensive way, or not really expensive way. Why am I saying expensive? That's weird. But there's a much more complicated way as well. And what this also does, it takes into account perks. Now, what I did is I also I calculated out four equations for this, using the XB boost, and then using the credit boost. Uh, and the cars that I used to test these out was the Ford GT and the Super BRZ Horizon Edition. So, I went ahead and I just tested those out, and I came up with some numbers. I'm, I'm going to stop here so I can go ahead and look at these real quickly. So, I went ahead and tested them out. And so I also came up with these numbers for the average wheel spin. For a non-VIP member, it was 32,844, which is lower than what I came up with originally. And then our new number for VIP is 57,917. And just remember though, you when you buy wheel spins, VIP is not added. So buying wheel spins, you're still gonna get on average 32,844. Because I was looking at that original, I'm like, you know what, dang, I could just buy wheel spins and make 7K on average back. And then I'm like, oh wait. Nope, that's not how that works. So, anyway, though, those were the numbers I came up with. And then I sort of went ahead and I added in these numbers uh, for my test simple. Because I actually came up with quite a few of these. And I came up with at 23,863 uh, experience per level. That is when you want to switch if you're non-VIP. Then it's 42,000 experience for uh, VIP members. And... What that means, though, is that means it is going to be more beneficial at those experience points, which, for non-VIP, just doing the simplest one, I mean, that's like level 303, because, remember, I'm going to let you guys know this. When you guys get to 0 to 300, it's 20,000 experience per level. But after level 300, it starts to increase rather steadily, uh, pretty high up, actually. I think at level 1,000, it's 200,000 experience per level. And right now, I'm thinking I'm like sitting at like 67 or 50 or to 70,000 experience per level. And I'm level 473. So, I wish there was a chart because then I could actually tell you guys what levels those are. But, uh, it looks like if you're a non-VIP member, 
you're, you're going to be switching very, very soon after level 300. Uh, for a VIP member, I'd say probably around 400 is when you want to switch. And then I did a little bit more advanced. This one also takes into account some of these perks that you guys see on your progress uh, under the skill shop. So, and what I did is, some of the numbers that I included are, you have your lineup credit multiplier. So, when you go over here, it's a huge multiplier. You'll have to actually calculate that out yourself, because for me, it's like 75% for uh, credit and 33% XP boost. So, I went ahead and I added those numbers in there. Um, and then, I also have the uh, difficulty and assist. So, we'll go back over here to my settings. And I actually have an 85%. Uh, because of how I play, I keep ABS on, steering normal, traction control, manual clutch, and braking only. So, those are my assist multiplier. And then there's also the skill XP, which I did not take into account on this one. But, uh, for example, if you're doing a lap around Goliath or something like that and you're drifting, it's probably still going to be better to use the skills because, as you see right here, this actually gives you triple skills experience. So, that's actually a good one. Uh... And then as well, what you also have is you have this one, which is earn double credits from the next exhibition event you do. Uh, and this one is a perk that I went ahead and I added in here. So, uh, did I put that under most advanced or... Hmm. The double down perk. Okay. Is that what that is? Yeah, that's a double down. So. Hmm. So on that one, of course, you know, you're going to be wanting to switch over even sooner. But I went ahead and I tested it without the double down perk. Uh, and it, it's very close. You know, it's actually 26,000 experience for non-VIPs. If you have this, uh, what actually? Because there's one perk in here already that actually adds up. And it's this one right here, which gives you a 10% increase in finish experience. So that one actually adds up a little bit more. And then... As well, what else did I take into account in this? I added my lineup bonus, so... But I didn't add in the double down perk, and I probably should have. And then I came up with 46,000 experience for VIP members, is when you want to go ahead and switch uh, from your experience boost to a credit boost car like Ford GT, and... Um, I don't know what other cars are actually uh, credit boost. The only one that comes to mind right off the top of my head is the Ford GT. I'm sure there's more. Uh, is it the, uh, I think it's maybe the Dodge Viper, which is actually the cheapest one out there. So, anyway though, that's really what I wanted to go ahead and mention. Uh, if you guys do use that perk, it will be much sooner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually leave down in the down in the description, I'm going to leave a link to a app that I used online. Uh, it's just like a really simple one. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to leave in the equations as well that you would use uh, for both VIP and non-VIP members. Uh, so... You'll be able to go ahead and graph it out because I actually went ahead and I graphed these out and I looked for where they crossed and when one got bigger than the other uh, and it gets exponentially bigger. Well, not really exponentially, but uh, it, it stays consistently, you know, uh, one gets smaller than the other. So it, it does help. You are going to get a lot more money, especially at higher experiences. Um, let me actually pull this up really quickly. What point is this? At... 200 experience per level the difference is actually insane like it's actually quite large uh, so and that that'll be at the maximum at 200,000 experience uh, you'll only be getting hmm, what is it at 200,000 experience for level the difference is pretty he hectic it's like 50,000 uh, credits or so but yeah it it's definitely going to help you guys out getting a little bit more money as you guys actually see right now I look kind of broke, but that's actually because I'm working on another video uh, And that'll be out fairly soon after this. But anyway though guys think it. Oh my god, and I'm trying to Sometimes you guys she is so annoying. I really hate her. I really really hate her sometimes And now we just now we're stuck behind this pole. Oh god. I'm trying to sign off, and she, she always interrupts me at the worst times, too. It's not like, you know, oh, hey, I'm going to wait for you to stop talking. I'm going to just interrupt you right now when I'm closing off. So, anyway, though, guys, if you guys like the video, go and make sure to hit that like button down below for us, because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. Oh, looky there, Morgan Three-Wheeler. 
Uh, and as well, make sure to subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Bye!